Big data is big business. Good day, everyone. This is Dave Vellante coming to you from Wikibon's headquarters in beautiful Marlboro, Massachusetts. We are live on the Cube, SiliconANGLE Wikibon's flagship video product, where we bring you all the news and action from the world of enterprise technology. Now today, we're here to talk about big data, and we have some big news. Wikibon has just released a groundbreaking study quantifying the size of the big data market. Now, to our knowledge, this is the first study that actually forecasts the size of the big data market with actual vendor market shares. Now, I want to go through some of the findings of the studies. First, the worldwide big data market is estimated at $5 billion in 2011, and that's predicted to grow to more than $50 billion by 2017. That's a whopping 58% compound annual growth rate. Now, according to Wikibon, IBM leads all players with more than a billion dollars in big data revenue, while HP's Vertica division leads what we call pure play innovators with a 28% share of revenue generated by these smaller, more focused big data companies. Hadoop platforms are powering many big data innovations and driving adoption in emerging application segments. Now services accounts for the biggest chunk of big data, 44% of the spending, followed by hardware, 31%, and software, which is 25%. Next generation data warehouses are upending traditional enterprise markets with massively parallel columnar analytic databases that deliver faster load times and near real time analytic capabilities. Now I'm pleased to have Jeff Kelly on the line who's with me. Jeff was the primary author of the study, and Jeff is also Wikibon's lead big data analyst. Are you there, Jeff? I am, thanks Dave for having me. You're welcome. Now, Jeff, I have to ask you, five billion, that's a big number as a starting point, and I'm sure a lot of people are surprised by this figure. How is it that big data, such a new and emerging market, is so large? Oh, well, Dave, it really comes down to the definition of big data, and we decided to cast a pretty wide net and include spending on products and services from both traditional vendors and some of the big data pure plays uh, that you mentioned. Okay, so what is uh, Wikibon's definition, Jeff, of big data? Well, we keep it pretty simple, Dave. Wikibon defines big data to include data sets whose size and type make them impractical to process and analyze with traditional database technologies uh, and related tools. So as a result of that definition, our figures include technologies, tools, and services designed to address the shortcomings. So this includes Hadoop distribution software, uh, the related Apache Hadoop subprojects, and related hardware. Um, we've also got the next generation data warehouses uh, and the related hardware there, data integration tools and platforms uh, as applied to big data. Um, and of course, you've got big data analytic platforms and applications and data visualizations, again, as applied to big data as well as support training professional services in the big data space. So, for example, would you include Oracle Exadata in these figures? Uh, yes, that's right, we would. All of Exadata? Uh, no, not all, but a, a reasonable sized portion, actually. Okay, so for example, how did you determine what that portion would be? Right, so, well, like all the vendors we ranked, we used a combination of factors a weighted combination of factors to determine the percentage of exadata revenue that we qualify as big data. Um, those factors include, of course, media reports around exadata deployments. Uh, we talked with a lot of members of the Wikibon community, and we also uh, use extrapolations based on Oracle's stated exadata pipeline. Um, ultimately, for in the case of exadata, uh, those exadata deployments that qualified as big data did mainly uh, due to the volumes of data involved rather than on a type data involved is unstructured data. Okay, let's go to some of the graphics that we have from the report. The first one that we want to show you is the, the forecast of the market. Now, I realize it's a little small, a little hard to read, but the important part of this chart is that the shape of the curve is what we call an OGIVE curve or an S-curve. Some of you may be familiar with that, that terminology. Now, the way an S-curve works is on the vertical axis, you've got uh, effort, and on the horizontal axis you've got return, and so when you're in the flat part of the S-curve, which is kind of where we are now, you got to do a lot more heavy lifting to get a lot of value. Now, as you start to get to the steeper part of that S-curve, a little bit of effort gives you much, much greater value. 
Uh, and so we're predicting, if I understand this, Jeff, uh, properly, that within the next couple of years, the steep part of that S-curve is really going to hit uh, over the next two years. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah, so now, and what you see, of course, is that's really where big data goes mainstream. And then you see this um, really strong forecast that shows uh, up to $50 billion by 2017, which is a, a significant growth market, Jeff. Oh, absolutely. We think uh, big data has huge potential, um, especially you know once we hit that uh, the mainstream adoption, that is uh, moving beyond the web vertical market that uh, kind of is revolutionizing big data, uh, we think it's really going to uh, just skyrocket. Now, let's take a look at the, uh, the chart, the bar chart, which shows some of the pure plays. Uh, Jeff, you chose to segment out the so-called pure plays. Um, so talk a little bit about that, why you did that, and talk about some of the vendors that are leading there. Right. Well, we decided it was a, a good idea to break out some of the, uh, all the pure play vendors in the big data space because these are the vendors that are really doing a lot of the innovation, most of the innovation, in fact, in the big data space. Um, so we broke them out, and these vendors include uh, Hadoop distribution and software vendors. As you can see, Cloudera uh, is probably the leading Hadoop distribution vendor in terms of revenue with $18 million at this point. Vendors like these are really working uh, very hard to make Hadoop a more solid, uh, stable platform uh, capable of uh, closer to more real-time type, type of uh, analytics, although there's a lot more to, to go there, um, improving security, uh, as I mentioned, stability, uh, and increasing uh, performance, uh, and kind of, kind of bringing Hadoop to that point where enterprises could feel comfortable deploying it uh, in their IT environment. Now, uh, now, Dave, if you wouldn't mind putting up the, uh, the pie chart with the, uh, the pure play vendor share. Now, the, vendor, the pure play vendors accounted for about 300 million, Jeff, and you had Vertica leading uh, with just over $80 million in revenue, or about 28% of that pure play. Now, but HP acquired Vertica. Why did you choose to put the likes of Vertica and Greenplum and Aster Data into the so-called pure plays? Well, we decided to do that because the acquisitions are fairly recent, and to this point, um, these vendors really haven't been, uh, I, I want to use the word, we use the word polluted in the, in the report. That's a good word, the okay. They haven't been polluted by their acquirers, is what you're saying. Exactly. So they're still <laughs> out being allowed to operate fairly autonomously, and, and then we think that's a good idea because, uh, I mean, these are the vendors that were really driving innovation in the data warehousing space, and uh, we don't see any reason to get in their way. Um, so this is another segment of the pure play market, the uh, massively parallel, in most cases, columnar analytic databases uh, that are focused more on structured data, but large volumes of structured data um, coming in and making, loading that data very quickly and making it available for real-time analytics. Okay, um, that's good. Now, uh, Dave, if you wouldn't mind bringing up the uh, factory revenue by hardware, software, and services, I want to you know, share with people the services revenue is the biggest piece of the pie. And of course, IBM is, is one of the leaders there. They're the largest service company on the planet. Um, and then you see, uh, so services has 44% share, uh, hardware 31%, and the remaining chunk in software. Why isn't software larger, Jeff? Uh, well, part of the reason for that is, of course, that Hadoop is an open source framework. Uh, even most of the uh, enterprise, uh, or I should say, most of the big, big data pure plays that are commercializing Hadoop uh, are still giving away the software for free. That is, most of it's uh, Apache compatible, free to download software. They are monetizing Hadoop around the services aspect um, in terms of managing Hadoop uh, and training at this point. Okay. Most of the Hadoop related software is for free, so you're not going to get any revenue directly from the software in that sense. Yeah, so you'll get it from uh, aftermarket services, like you said, training and certification and other services. Um, kind, of the, the, kind of the Red Hat model, if you will. Sure. Now, Dave, can you go to the big data vendor table? Uh, Jeff, uh, you've quantified uh, shares for more than 40, I think it's even more than 50. You've got a category called others, and I understand there's like five or 10 in there, but so it's more than 50 vendors uh, that you've you've categorized here, haven't you? Absolutely. Um, we think it's a, it's a large and growing market. I mean, there are, are new big data startups uh, popping up almost every day, it seems, um, for good reason. As we as we talked about earlier, we think this is going to be a huge market with the potential to impact pretty much all vertical industries. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a 
pretty big uh, market at this point. We've got all the major uh, enterprise software and hardware companies really getting involved, uh, as well as we've mentioned all the pure play vendors. Um, and we think that number is, in fact, going to grow uh, in the short term. In the long term, it will probably shrink in terms of when consolidation occurs, uh, as it usually does in, in uh, hot IT sectors such as this. Uh, we mentioned in the report that we think it might be somewhat similar to what happened in the business intelligence market, if you recall, a few years ago, um, where a lot of uh, IT whales uh, acquired some of the BI pure plays. So we, we think that probably happened in the long term. In the short term, uh, with all the capital, uh, venture capital available uh, from the uh, Excel Partners Big Data Fund, for example, and other uh, sources, we do expect to see a lot more startups uh, hitting the market in the next year. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Now, uh, as far as the report goes, how can people uh, get a copy? Do they have to pay for it? Uh, nope, the report is not for sale. People, you can just go uh, right to wikibon.org, search for the Big Data Market Report, and you will find it right there. Awesome. Uh, we like to keep things uh, free and open here at Wikibon, so uh, please check out the report. Uh, go to Wikibon, and you can, uh, in the search bar, just look at uh, Big Data Market or Big Data Market Revenues, and it'll pop up there. Um, Jeff, thank you very much for coming on. Uh, when did you start the, this research? Uh, well, we've been doing this research, I'd say, for the last six, six to nine months, really. Uh, pretty much since I uh, joined Wikibon, we, we've been uh, looking into this uh, type of report and uh, been just talking to uh, as many end users, uh, members of the Wikibon community, including vendors and uh, partners, end users, customers, VC, you, you name it, we've been talking to them. Uh, so this has been quite a quite a long effort uh, to put together this report. Excellent. Well, congratulations on uh, getting such a great piece of work, and I know you've got a, a busy schedule ahead of you. Uh, of course, we're going to be at Strata next week. Uh, watch for us there, the big data show. Uh, we're partnering up with O'Reilly Media, and of course our partner at Silicon Angle will have the cube there. So look for uh, continuous coverage. We'll be there on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. We got the big team going out there. Jeff, nice job. Uh, thanks for coming on the Cube, and uh, thanks everybody for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.